So this is your new audio interface. Inside, you found a couple of CDs, cable, and the interface. What you need to connect this to the computer is USB cable and two cables to connect speakers or studio monitors, left and right. On the back side of the audio interface, you see two outputs, USB input, two MIDI ports and headphone output. You connect left and right monitor or speaker. And you plug in USB cable. And on the front side, the blue LED tells you the box is now powered. You can also switch on 48 volts for condenser microphones. You have gain one and gain two knobs. Main VST switch. Headphones volume and main volume. Two combo inputs for mics and instruments are located here. Once we installed and updated the drivers, we can switch on the computer. Now we will switch on also monitors. Presonus Aries 4.5 in my particular case. And we'll turn the volume all the way right to the maximum. On the computer, we'll launch AudioBox VSL software and we are welcomed with this small window which tells you how to use the mix knob. And here is the virtual mixer. That's the main window. Input one is on wind input one on the virtual mixer. And obviously, input two is input two on the virtual mixer. The right fader represents the main volume. Effect A and effect B is their respective faders. We will plug in the mic into input one. And we can immediately see signal is coming in. We'll use the gain for channel one and we'll set the gain from the lowest level to the right so I can hear the voice but there's no clipping. Once you are clipping the red LED shows me clipping and I have to reduce the gain. So I still have to hear very loudly the signal but the red LED clipping signal should not be on. How we use the virtual mixer? My microphone goes to input one and the signal flow is from top to bottom. I can high pass the input I can engage gate on the input. I can set the threshold graphically and with knobs. So now the gate is engaged. I can engage the second processor in the chain, which is compressor. So I can compress the input signal And the third processor is equalizer. Again, three band parametric 
equalizer. So I can modify the input signal up to my liking. In these three small windows, I can see the setting of gate, compressor and EQ. A and E bars are levels of sending signal to A and B effect channels. Channel A set to reverb and regulated by its own fader. One, one, one and the other fader to push the delay signal. One, 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 one. And I can obviously mix these two effects to my liking. Of course, I can solo the channel, mute the channel and Applies for channel one, channel two. Or I can select second channel or output channels from the computer. And here is the main volume fader. I can, of course, switch the face of the input signal or change the flow of the signal and modify the signal post DSP. In the main setup window, I can set up response time for meters and clip indicator hold. I can also change sample rate and on Mac uh, I can change input monitor buffer size. I am using currently 48 kilohertz, but you can choose any of these four sample rates. This combo gate compressor EQ, so-called fat channel, is on both input channels and on both output channels from the door. Of course, on both effect channels, and the same is on the output channel. So even the output channel you can compress or limit as in this case, to engage compressor in a limiter mode. And after limiter, you can engage parametric EQ and shape up the output signal also to your liking. Every so-called scene can be saved, so your setting for all input, output and effect channels will be saved. Let's call it scene one. Of course, you can change inputs, outputs and processors and save it as another scene. And then you can very easily recall each scene by drag and drop from the sidebar to the virtual mixer. You can use pre-programmed input presets, again, by dragging and dropping them on input channels or output channels or main output channel. And same goes to pre-programmed effects where you can also program the A and B channels via drag and drop. So that is the quick overview of PreSonus Virtual Studio Live. Thank you.